tornadoes to three murders here in Baltimore today after several days of no deadly shootings. Yeah, take a look at that. This is a map of where all the shootings happened. So far, there haven't been any arrests. A man was shot while sitting in his car on West Landvale Street in West Baltimore just before 5 o'clock tonight. He later died at the hospital. Then about 30 minutes later, a man and a woman were shot on Mason Court east of downtown. The man died and there's no word on the woman's condition. This afternoon around 1, a man was shot in the chest on West Franklin Street in West Baltimore. He was taken to the hospital where he died. Members of the Baltimore ceasefire effort held a vigil at that location at 815 tonight in honor of that victim. Traces of his blood were still on the ground, but the organizers of the group have a message for death and it's that they will keep showing up in force as long as it does. We're going to get up tomorrow morning and show up and put love in the other two spaces as well because we have to go toe to toe with murder. That when it shows up, we're going to show up. And before it knows it, we're going to be showing up enough before it gets there that we're going to be able to stop it. That's us. Baltimore C4 founder Erica Bridgeford. She says that when somebody is killed, it impacts between 100 and 150 people. Her group is holding life affirming events across the city this weekend and we have a link to that calendar of events on WMER 2 News.